Ruski Ed here, and this lesson is about a plant in the sunflower family. Stay tuned for more on this interesting plant. But in the meantime, check out the vocabulary words for this lesson. Ruski Ed is his name, and speaking Russian is his game. If it is Russian, you would like to know, the Ruski Ed is the place to go. The Red Book lists five members of the Saucerea genus, otherwise known as Saucerea or sometimes Garkusha in Russian. Common names in English include Sawart and Snow Lotus. The plants listed in the Red Book are as follows. Saucerea Raznasvetnaya, Saucerea Daroga Staiskava, Saucerea Kitamuri, Saucerea Porchi, and Saucerea Savetskaya. And now for some information pertaining to these wonderful plants. Neskolka Raznavidnastie, Snezhnava Lotasa, Ispozo Yutsyav, Tradicionai Tibetskai Medicenia, means several varieties of snow lotus are used in traditional Tibetan medicine. An interesting species of Sasuria, which grows in India, is known as Brahma Kamul or Sasuria Abvalata. Etarastania is a Brajana, not Pachtovi Market Indie, which means this plant is depicted on a postage stamp in India. A species of Sasuria which grows in the northwestern part of North America is Sasuria Americana, otherwise known as American Sawwort. Etarastania rastot na luga if lesa, which means this plant grows in meadows and forests. Snow lotus is a common name for certain species of Sasuria, and although I did not find any jokes about snow lotus, here is a joke which contains the words golden lotus. Minogia kitaiskia restaurani nosyat takia nazvania. Kak zalatoi dvorets zalatoi lotas. Zalatoi Dracon, no moi nazvan v chest, mayevo lubimava bluda, zalatistava retrivera, which means many Chinese restaurants have names like Golden Palace, Golden Lotus, Golden Dragon, but mine is named after my favorite dish, Golden Retriever. A fun lotus pun goes like this Lotus be at peace. This is not the greatest pun in the world since lotus doesn't sound all that much like let us. But translating let us be at peace to Russian, we get Davaitya Jit Mirna. Speaking of peace, John Lennon wrote a song many decades ago called Give Peace a Chance, which would be Daitya Miru Shans in Russian. Of course, peace sounds a lot like peas, and so maybe it should be Give Peas a Chance or Daitya Garoho Shans in Russian. Similarly, the Rolling Stones have a song containing the lyrics I don't want no security, I just want me some peas. The first sentence translates to Menya Nuzna Beza Pasnast. And the second sentence translates to Menya Prosta Nuzna Nemnoga Garoshka. And not to be outdone, Bob Dylan wrote a song containing the following lyrics Inagda Satana Pri Hodit Fankia Sagaroham. Which means sometimes Satan comes in a can of peas. And finally, here's a funny joke for you to consider. First, the setup line. Pea eaters hate noisy people. Which translates to, Garoha yedi nenavidet shuni ludye. The punchline is, they just want peas and quiet. With the literal translation to Russian being, ani prosta hatyat garoha i teshini. However, whereas peas sounds like peace in English, garoh and mir sound nothing alike in Russian. And so, as is often the case, the essence of the joke is lost in translation, or sut shut ki teriyatsya pri peravodya, in Russian. Believe it or not, the end of this lesson has been reached, and so it is time for Ruskiad to sign off. Das vidanya!